Well, here we are again in San Diego Metro. Uh, we said we would never come back and do a condo. There's a crazy neighbor. They're out here with television cameras. They're causing a ruckus. But this is, um, this is interesting. There we were on location, and one of the agents had put their sign in the yard before we even began shooting the show. We've never seen anything like this before. I mean, what were we supposed to do? Needless to say, I was a little upset. It's up our whole show. It's up your show? I just made it 10 times better. Welcome to Win This Listing, where three real estate agents compete for a chance to win a listing in the very hot San Diego home market. Thousands of dollars are on the line. It could get ugly. I think he should get disqualified. Oh, you Ricky's <laughs> nodding. It could get awkward. It went amazing. I feel like we just hit a home run. But it's bound to be tons of fun because only one agent can win this listing. Because there's such low inventory and yet high demand, the San Diego housing market has become a dream for home sellers. Today, we meet Jose, a music teacher, National Guard reservist, and a reality show celebrity from Dating in the Dark. I can't see your hand in front of your like, face. Jose's bucket list includes living in downtown San Diego, and he's ready to take the first step towards making it a reality by selling his condo in the up-and-coming neighborhood of North Park. I'd like to be a homeowner in downtown eventually. That's always been kind of a, a goal of mine. Here's the condo. Jose bought this house back in December of 2014 for just $228,000. It's a standard one bedroom, one bathroom, but Jose used his VA renovation loan to upgrade the heck out of this place, and it's looking mighty fine. Of course, Jose has had some mixed experiences with previous real estate agents. I think the very first real estate agent I went with uh, was super aggressive let him go, started with another one, but that guy was way too passive. I'm like, you can't be scared talking to me. I don't think I'm that scary anyone anyway to talk to. Fortunately, on Win This Listing, we handpick vetted agents who, believe me, know their stuff. The three agents battling for this week's bid, Ricky, the straight shooter, Silber, Nicole, the life of the party, Hazelton, and Steve, Smiley Brandt. We cast Ricky on the show because we knew we would need at least one agent to really shoot Jose straight. Needless to say, Ricky was not thrilled about Steve's sign. Derek started laughing and told me the story and then immediately I decided I was gonna punch Steve in the throat as soon as I saw him. I love the condo, it's great. This is my hood. You know, I lived down the street for 15 years so I'm very comfortable in this uh, space and I'm very comfortable with this listing. This is actually Ricky's second appearance on the show. He was on episode three, and he is not happy about not winning last time. Now that Ricky's seen who the other agents are, what does he think about his competition? Um, I was excited to see Nicole. She's my buddy. And then immediately my heart dropped into my stomach because I knew that she was a good fit for somebody who was looking for a house downtown because that's kind of her forte. Okay, and what about Steve? Um, I did not see Steve as a threat. <laughs> We cast Nicole Hazelton on this show because Jose ultimately wants to live in downtown. And no one knows downtown real estate better than Nicole Hazelton. Uh, hey, Nicole, what did you think about Steve's sign? Oh, Steve's sign. It's very bold, especially without HOA permission. I have a sign in my car, so I can easily replace it. I think I'll win this listing because I know the market, um, I'm really familiar with the inventory, and I'm an expert negotiator. So I was thrilled to see Ricky. He and I have co-brokered some deals together in the past, and he's, a, he's great to work with, he and his team. And Steve, what can I say without being mean? <laughs> we cast Steve Brandt on this show because he works the metro area and he works outside of the box. Yeah, just a little bit. I have many advantages over the other agents. So there's not just gonna be one. My strategy to win this listing is to come at it as a ninja, a business person, and an entertainer. I'm certainly sure I can outwit, outplay, and outsmart the competition. What is this, Survivor? But what does Jose think about Steve's extreme tactics? Is that a too aggressive of a move? Is that the type of assertion that you're looking for? I wasn't even sure that's, that's okay at this point because we haven't agreed to anything formally. Today, our reality star gets to meet the agents in person. Well, you, you made all the right choices in terms of <laughs> the farm sink, glass, you know, green glass, subway top, backsplash, the gray stone countertop. I mean, that's like, the formula right now. Right. right, perfect. What made you buy this unit? Um, I think I walked in and after I found out about the VA renovation loan, uh, the structure was there. 
and I was like, oh, I think there's a lot here. And obviously North Park, the area. And the wood floor too, I like the contrast. Good difference because a lot of buyers, you know, particularly dark wood is in right now. So having a good contrast with the fireplace is gonna make this place pop when they first walk in, like it did for me. So awesome. that's good. Nice to have the rain shower yeah, too. Yeah, there's actually two shower heads. <laughs> good for company? Yeah. <laughs> good for company? Are you kidding me? Why don't you just ask Jose on a date? Maybe you'll get the listing quicker. I think this is a huge advantage too, because people are going to look at other units and have a bath. And baths are kind of out, unless you have a family. Get yourself all cleaned up. <laughs> How do I always end up in the shower on the shoots? <laughs> <laughs> this is like exactly what somebody who was designing a house specifically just for sale on spec would have wanted. Well, first impressions are everything. Let's see how the agents did. All right, Jose, had a chance to uh, meet all three agents now. They've, anybody stuck out uh, one way or the other? Um, I'm not sure if anyone stuck out. They're all very professional. I do like it, and I think it's coming from my teacher background when like people ask questions. Maybe I could have uh, got a few more questions from Ricky. Steve and Nicole seem to be asking more of the right questions, I think. If I were gonna rank them, it's maybe Steve and Nicole right now. Well, it seems like Jose is keeping his mind open and it's a good thing because we're just getting started. You might be surprised what's coming up next. So Steve is a student of mine. I've basically taught him everything that he knows. Are you kidding me? In a city where everyone wants to live, but no one can afford. Only one loan officer has the tools the knowledge, the power, and the good looks to get the job done. Sean Cahan is the Mortgage Geek. That's me. Call the Mortgage Geek today. Life of the Party, Nicole Hazelton, Ricky the Straight Shooter Silver, and Steve Smiley Brandt, three of downtown San Diego's top real estate agents battle for Jose's slick bachelor pad in North Park. Inventory is low, demand is high, and it's still anyone's game. Well, the game formalities are over, and it's time for the agents to make their pitches to Jose. Let's see if Steve has something up his sleeve. Did you like the play? <laughs> it was different. Yes, all right. I laughed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah so. I apologize if it created any No, I mean, it doesn't affect me any. I think it so. scared some other folks. Maybe your comp competition. It yeah. doesn't affect me any. So. Good, good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go through some of the reasons why I think it's valuable to end up hiring my mm -hmm. organization and, and me specifically. The first one is going to be our systemized sales approach. There's a, lot of mis there's a lot of moving pieces in real estate and you have to be great at negotiations, you have to be great at copywriting, you have to be great at digital marketing, uh, print marketing, all these different roles. It's impossible for one person to master all those. So what happens is, is you have an agent that's working entirely by themselves you're gonna have someone that's unfortunately gonna be deficient in those things. So what I've done is I've put together the best of breed of partners to help me in marketing and selling properties. Where I'm a king is in the sales and marketing aspect of it. Handling how do we properly market a property so you get the highest sales price. Well, with that said, where this is right now, where do you think? We oh, we're list. gonna get to that. <laughs> oh wow, you're jumping right to it. We will definitely get to where I think it, it will, could sell for, but also what the strategy might be to get you the highest price. So what I do is I take this information, I download it into an automatic dialer system, and I reach out to them uh, proactively, promoting your listing, letting them know that it's available, mm -hmm. and also leaving a recorded message if I'm not able to speak with them directly. How yeah. successful do you think that's been? It's been phenomenal. Yeah. Everything works in concert. Right. So it's not just one thing, one thing right. that's gonna be, oh, you have to just do this one thing. It's when you do all the, uh, combine all these multiple disciplines. Well, who could say no to that big smile? Steve has definitely set the standard high with his detailed presentation. Nicole has her work cut out to keep pace. As far as like taxes, so I noticed that you bought this property and it's, we're a couple months out still from your right. two year marker. So just, um, I'm not a CPA, so I can't advise you in that regard, but just speaking with someone about gains, and I know you did a lot of upgrades, mm -hmm. um, so might, you know, just finding out what your tax consequences will be. 
Um, that's a good point. I actually didn't, I wasn't aware of that until I, wa I spoke to my HOA. So it's, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because the, I didn't, I wasn't aware of the two year mark for the capital yeah. gains. I forgot about that. And uh, I didn't factor that in yeah. originally when I went through this process. So, so you um, might be in school working through a sale and a purchase at the same time. Any good. questions about costs or? Uh, yeah, I guess you can, we can go through that. We. Oh, Nicole, your words are so mesmerizing. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> well, typically you're, you're, you're going to be asked by the buyer to pay for the title insurance policies. Sure. So they'll have two policies. They'll have a title insurance policy and then they'll have a lender's insurance policy that they're responsible to mm -hmm. pay. So your title insurance policy is going to be a little under $1,000 based on the sales price of two eighty. dollars okay. So that will adjust accordingly based on the sales price. On the price. actual sales price, okay. Um, you'll typically pay your own portion of the escrow fee. So your escrow fee on this purchase would be about eight hundred dollars sale would be about $850. That was a solid effort from Nicole and great tax info for Jose, but was it enough to take the lead from Steve? All right, Jose. Yeah. So now you've heard from Steve. Yes. Heard from Nicole. Yes. We still have Ricky left, but I want to check in with you, just kind of see where we are now. Um, so both of them have different things to bring to the table. Um, Steve's presentation was very well put together. He had some digital tools. He had some uh, paper tools, and he told me about all the different sales tools that he has. So Steve is a good marketer, and you think he can sell ice to an Eskimo? Y'all got any ice? It's cold and over here. Nicole's bringing something else to the table. Obviously, she's still in sales, but she has a, I guess, more an academic approach to it. Mm -hmm. But let's not forget, Ricky Silver, right, is yet to present. So let's get Ricky up here and see if he can make this even more interesting. Well, did Jose fall for Nicole's brains or Steve's looks? Let's not forget the straight shooter, Ricky Silbert. This is his hood, and he's coming up next. Hey there, Derek Evans here from Winless Listing. You know, most people don't realize that you have a choice when it comes to choosing your escrow company when you buy or sell a home. Well, you do, and that choice matters. I recommend Five Star Escrow. And remember, if you want five star service, there's only one place to go. That's Five Star Escrow. Tell your agent about them. Welcome back to Win This Listing. Real estate agents Steve Brandt and Nicole Hazelton have pitched to Jose, and now it's the straight shooter shot. This is Ricky's second chance on win this listing, and last time he wanted to select a lower listing price and did not win this listing. I'm curious to see what he's coming with today. So the first question that I have for you is, why do you want to sell this place? My, one of my goals was to get into downtown and East Village. You know, I know the show is called Win This Listing, and, and it's funny that you say that because a lot of times I sit down with people and kind of maybe try to talk them out of selling their mm -hmm. house. Ricky, what the f Derek, I know you have a show to produce, but selling your house isn't the right choice for everybody. Hi, I'm Ricky Silber, and if I can't sell this home, <laughs> well then no one can. F you people. You know, if you don't need the equity, even if it was a break even in terms of like just monthly payment, you're still riding out a continuous, you know, steady growth of appreciation in the house. So, I mean, you know, sometimes that's the right thing for some people and sometimes it isn't. And sometimes I sit down with people who want to sell and, and I talk them out of selling, right, right. Um, you know, because ultimately long term, that's a better option for them. What kind of sets me apart and what I do is that like we really leveraged the whole online thing a lot faster than other people. So like in my office, me and Steve are from the same office. Yes. But in my office, I'm what they call master faculty, so I teach. And, and what they're constantly asking, asking me to teach is internet marketing. Every buyer is looking so at the homes on the teacher. internet. I have you been, I have been. Um, he's attended some classes of mine. So Steve is a student of mine. I've basically taught him everything that he knows. But I didn't teach him to install signs on listings that he doesn't have yet. And I certainly didn't teach him to omit the listing price. Damn. Ricky, are you kidding me? A student of yours, I came to your class, I appreciated the information you provided, but then I did something different and tripled the results. It's all about the internet as far as we're concerned. So we do single property websites, we do very high-end photography, um, you know, a lot of how we drive traffic, we do like to do a lot of pre-marketing. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, this essentially would come up as a coming soon page, it would be hidden behind a wall with a timer on it. Yeah. What are you thinking? 
Um, Ricky was definitely different than the other two, but it wasn't also uh, way over the top um, as like Steve was. And it was interesting that they're kind of from the same office, but completely two different ap- approaches. And, and you know, Ricky uh, came in with a price point of two ninety five, which is if I sell it at that, that is awesome. Well, I know you've got a lot to think about. Right. The good news is, though, we don't have to pick a winner just yet. Okay. We do have to pick someone to eliminate. Right. All right. <laughs> well, Jose's heard all three agent presentations now, and there's only one way to really know what he's thinking. Cool. It's the first round of eliminations coming up next. With a 125-year legacy of integrity, service, and leadership, First American Title Insurance Company combines in-depth knowledge of the San Diego market with the national reach and strength of one of the largest title insurers in the U.S. First American Title's experienced team in San Diego pride themselves in providing the highest quality customer service and products to local real estate professionals, including comprehensive title insurance coverage and professional services for real estate purchases, construction, refinances, and equity loans. For more information, visit firstam.com slash title. That's firstam.com slash title. Welcome back to Win This Listing. Three real estate agents compete for this beautiful North Park listing. It's time for eliminations and we find out who Jose cuts first. All right, rock stars. It is officially that time. Everyone's done a fantastic job, but somebody has got to go. Jose has written one name on this envelope. That person is the person who's gonna be eliminated first. Steve, you obviously took a, took a big chance. Yes. Uh, you planted your flag uh, in the ground yesterday or the day before, I don't know, but before today. That was an aggressive move. Uh, I think Jose liked your assertiveness and your proactivity, but soon we'll, we'll find out. Okay. Nicole, Jose really had a lot of good things to say about you, as far as the numbers that you talk, the financing angle, um, the taxes on the capital gains and avoiding that by waiting a few extra months. That was definitely really good stuff. He had a lot of good things to say about your presentation and your rapport with him. Ricky, Jose really thought that you were extremely genuine, and he's the type of guy who can really appreciate that. So I know he liked every single one of you for many different reasons, but at the end of the day, we stick this envelope in his hand and say, hey, you gotta write a name on it. So, without further ado. Nicole. You're safe. Man, Derek, you're killing me. <sighs> you can step aside. <laughs> All right. All right, fellas. You've both done a great job so far. Any last words you guys have for us? It's been a great experience. And, uh, you know, I know Ricky's a quality agent, so no matter how it turns out, I'll be happy with the result. I think he had the fortunate benefit of having three good choices to make. So, however it plays out, is fine. Okay. So we can play nice. No, you guys, this is great. This is kumbaya. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, unfortunately, as qualified as you both are, one of you has got to go. Ricky, you did not win this listing, my man. Great job, though. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Ricky, do you see what happens when you try to talk people out of selling their homes? Ricky's school of no home selling. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I have to deal with Steve the rest of the show. Hey Ricky, I'm holding a class real soon. It's called How Not to Come in Third Place. Oh, I love you, man. I don't know what it's going to take for you to win this listing. You're still an amazing agent. Everybody knows it. The thing with listing appointments is you have to connect on a personal level. And sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. And in this case, we just didn't and that was okay. If I had to do something different, I would have changed up my style a little bit and brought him something tangible to hold because I know that that was kind of a hang up for him. And then there were two. Yes. So <laughs> one of you is gonna win this listing. All right. That's gotta feel good. 50-50 chance. 50-50 yes. chance now. But we do have the 60 second pitches or the final pitches before Jose makes his final decision. First of all, Jose, I want the job of selling your condo. I want it because I think you deserve the best and I want to see you succeed, and I think I'm the right guy for the job. Um, envision yourself in a month, downtown, in your new condo, with extra money in your pocket that you did not anticipate. That's what you can expect if you hire me. There are three things I want to leave you with and want you to remember. These three, are, these three things are critical no matter who you hire, whether it's me or someone else, that will determine your success in selling your condo. One, 
hire a leader. When you're hiring someone, who do you want to, to sell your condo? Someone who is thinking in advance, leading you through the process, or someone who is not taking those, uh, taking those steps to lead you through the process? Two, hire a strategic thinker. Hire someone who's not only going to employ proven methodologies, but think outside the box to deliver you a comprehensive winning plan. And three, create buyer frenzy. When you create buyer frenzy for your condo, you're ensuring that you're going to get the highest possible price for your condo and giving you the highest net. Remember, leader plus thinker plus buyer frenzy equals happy Jose. I'd like to thank you for not eliminating me yet. <laughs> and I think that I'd be the right agent for you, um, most, mostly because when you're, when you're buying and selling concurrently, it's just all about the open lines of communication. And I'm not going to say that it's the easiest thing to do, but I will work to make it the least amount of stress to you as possible. Um, on the sell side, we'll try to get you the highest and best price for this property, a well-qualified buyer that will definitely close and not jeopardize your purchase. On the buy side, I can help you in downtown. That's my area of expertise. We'll find you a building that's VA approved or FHA approved if that's the route that you'd like to go. We can sit down and crunch all of those numbers when you're ready. Um, and then we'll negotiate the best price on the purchase as well. So I think um, I would be the best fit for you in this type of scenario. And I have quite a few clients that can attest to that. Eight seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> when you know, you know, Steve. You don't need the full minute. <laughs> it's time to cut throats. Final elimination is coming up and the winner gets to list this gym in North Park. Here we are. Yeah. We've seen everything you're going to see now. Let's talk about Nicole for a second. Right. What are some of the things that you like about Nicole? So Nicole had definitely the sales presentation just like Steve. It wasn't over the top. I think she was a little timid and a little uh, soft-spoken to begin with. Obviously, after listening to Steve, most people are going to seem underwhelming after listening to Steve. All right, so it's that time. Yep. Final envelope. You're actually going to write the name of the winner All right. on this time, not the person to be eliminated. So write the name of the winner on this envelope, and then we'll do the final elimination team. All right, sounds good. All right. So who would you choose? Steve, who has proven to be the more aggressive salesperson? Or Nicole, who provided some timely tax advice? Jose likes them both, but somebody's gotta go. I'm not sure what Jose's thinking, but it's time to find out. Wow, here we are. <laughs> someone is gonna win this listing, and someone is gonna have to go home. So the question is, will it be Steve? Packing up the sign you put out there so oh. aggressively? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> or will you be taking a selfie by it? That's right. Or Nicole, will you be taking down Steve's sign and replacing it with yours? <laughs> that is what we were about to find out. So, without further ado, oh boy, let's see who has won dun, dun, dun. this listing. awkward, Derek. Is it awkward or is it intense? Both. <laughs> Nicole? Yes. You win this listing. Oh, oh thank wow. you. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, Great job. Great job. Took a chance, I did a dance. I'm a grown Are you man me? and I poop my pants. Nicole Hazelton, you win this listing. Steve Brandt took a huge chance. He went all in, a big gamble, but it did not pay off, Steve. I'm sorry, man. I appreciate your efforts, but you'll have to get them next time. Nicole, you win this listing. <sighs> Jose. 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 Bye, Felicia. All right, you had to pick someone, so I guess you went with the second prettiest person in the picture. <laughs> Oh, not for the horrible montage. <laughs> Let's go get that sign. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs>
<laughs> this is not Steve. how I envisioned it going down. Hey, you went all in, buddy. I, I did go that. all in. I can appreciate that. Wow. All right. You went all in, man. You did. You went all out. You left I didn't even bring my tools. I was so sure that I won this. I listing. have one in my car. Don't worry. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I hope. <laughs> 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 I, hire, well, I hire guys to put up You slides. have a company. Yeah. Yeah. So this experience is great. It was really, really eye-opening. Um, I thought I knew a lot of stuff, but there's no substitute for the subject matter experts. She came in with a good sales pitch. She had the presentation down. It's going to feel really good replacing Steve's sign with mine, I can tell you that. I felt like Jose and I had a really great rapport. Um, I feel like I've been in this scenario with the cell and the bike concurrently, and so I think my experience won the listing. I feel disappointed. I cannot, uh, I'm not happy with the outcome, but I know that Nicole's a good agent, so I know that he'll be in good hands anyhow. I felt like I was the best person to do that. That has not changed. I still feel like I'm the best person to do it, but unfortunately, I didn't present myself properly enough to win him over. Jose decided to wait four months before listing the condo to avoid capital gains taxes. Once on the market, the condo sold in six days for just under 300,000. I wanna come back, I wanna redeem myself, and maybe I'll put up two signs next time because one was not enough. See you later, America. Off to the next listen appointment. Now that his condo in North Park is sold, let's check in with Jose and see how things are going. Brian Ponce with Welcome to San Diego and I ended up working with Jose towards his sale and purchase. And because of our relationships in downtown, we ended up finding him a property that was off market and sold that to him in Little Italy. So now he is a happy Little Italy owner. I love this place. Obviously, I haven't quite moved in yet. It was just uh, closed at the beginning of the month and I'm still in the process of like settling in, but I'm in Little Italy now, a couple blocks away from India. Farmer's Market is right off uh, the same. It actually ends on this uh, street on Saturdays. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better place. Huge congratulations to Jose for not only selling his condo in North Park, but achieving his dream of owning a home in downtown. Big thanks and kudos to Nicole Hazelton and her team. Another happy homeowner on Win This Listing.